cars today. We have a special OBS treat for you OBS lovers. It's a 90 Sport C1500. This is a truck we had earlier this year that we sold. It has 81,000 miles. Very good auto check. Super clean original truck with some nice tasteful upgrades. And we'll get into that a little bit. The truck was sold to one of our, our good friends, one of our customers who really improved the truck. You know, most of the time when you get a truck back, it changes hands. It doesn't necessarily improve. He definitely improved this one. So since we last had it, it's had a, a huge brake upgrade, which everybody knows the OBS trucks aren't the best braking trucks in the world. So it has the new NBS master cylinder in it, braided uh, brake lines, new pads, new rotors. The drums were readjusted, uh, e-brake readjusted, really nice brake system on all new fluid in it. It stops really well. He also had the truck ceramic coated. We have brand new BFG radial TAs and the stock size on it. As you can see in the pictures, you can go back, the white lettering is still super clean. I mean, the tires don't have a couple hundred miles on them. So those nice upgrades, the interior of this truck is still as spotless as before. It's a bucket seat truck with a console, the low back bucket, so you can come a little closer and look at it. This is my favorite interior. You know, the 454 trucks that look just like this with the mirrors and all the same stuff the Sport has, most of them have the high back seats. This has the low back buckets, which is a killer look to me. Console's in good shape, all the latches work. You can look in the pictures, we have the manual, the little tape that goes in the original tape deck. All the interior lights work, AC, heat, fog lights, and the earlier in the video, you can see the, how fast the power windows go up and down. The truck is, body, paint body-wise, is super nice. Like I said, it's just ceramic coated. No big dents. There's a couple little dings here and there, but nothing I can even probably get to show up on a picture. All the sport stickers are in good shape. The rear tailgate stickers are in great shape. The bed has been rhino lined. It still has a bed mat over the rhino lining, but underneath it's all nice. Nice rhino line bed. It has the caps on it. Sliding rear window. It is a G80 truck with 342 gears. We put a picture up of the RPO codes if you want to take a look at that. But you look in the pictures too, the little details of this truck is what sets it apart for me. The bumper pads are all still really clean. They're dark black. They're not gouged up and faded. The tailgate surround isn't all cracked. The cow panels really shiny black still. Window, the window trim's clean and not cracked. Super nice original truck with some tasteful upgrades of the the suspension, the exhaust, and the brake system. It has a little Flowmaster uh, dual exhaust system on it. We do have the factory exhaust that came off this truck if that's something we wanted to put back on it. So we'll go drive around a little bit, take some more video angles. You guys give us a call, 254-383-3517. It's hard to beat their big grunt low end torque, but if you want a truck to drive, the sports are really cool. You get the overdrive, the TBI 350 still makes good power. The truck's still fun to drive. We had up the 7580 earlier going down the highway. But this truck just reminds me of like 1990, obviously. So you're getting out of high school, you fire up your brand new Silverado, pop in your Metallica tape, turn your hat backwards, and go to the local, where did people go in the 90s, Jason? You're Skate old. ring. Skating ring. <laughs> Whatever you would do, it just reminds me of that era. Everything that has that look, the color, the dash, the radio controls, like look at this, there's 3,000 buttons for basically two functions. But that being said, in the OBS world, you know, these trucks are, have really come up in value. You guys have seen if you follow us, we have a bunch of these. We've done several 454 trucks. We've had regular OBS trucks. This one is above and beyond most of the, most of the trucks you see out there. The steering's still really tight. 
and the brake upgrades that were done on the truck, don't get me wrong, it's not a ZL1 1LE brand new Camaro. That's a shout out to Jeff. But it is way better than it was stock. The pedal effort is, you know, it's got firm pedal on it. It doesn't seem to fade real fast. It stops good. So that was a nice upgrade to make this truck more livable. Uh, what else? All the turn signals work, the lights, the gauges. These are still the moon style gauges in 90. They all work. Oil pressure's good. Temps at probably right around 190, 200 right now. Voltmeter works. The fuel gauge works. Everything is working. I know we've said that a million times, but you look at the sun visor. Put your pack of marble reds in there probably, huh? From 1990? Yeah. There you go. These low back buckets are comfortable. The foam isn't all beat down. Cup holders are clean. Put a Coors Light or whatever people did then. Probably Coors Light, no light. Drinking and driving is bad. This is a joke. But we'll get out here on the highway and see if we can get it up to this maximum speed of 85. So you better buckle up, buckaroo. This is a G80 truck, so it does have Posi track. The 342 gears make it a little, little peppier than most of these. And for those that don't know, on the Sport package, I'm not going to nail it. But the Sport package adds. You know, the appearance stuff you see, the grill, the mirrors, the wheels, and the, you know, there's no power upgrade, but this truck was factory option with the, the gear upgrade and everything, so we go up to 60 now, it cruises down the highway, great, horn works, lots of people checking it out, so if you have any questions, we'll have 50, 60, 70 pictures of this truck up on our site, check them out, watch the video, we got an underside camera to show the underside of the truck which is super clean the spare tire is not mounted on the truck when you see it we have the spare wheel it just doesn't have a tire in it it's a uh, the factory chrome wheel that matches the rest of these so we have that we have the factory exhaust all the jack stuff is still behind the seat really a truck that hadn't been messed with a bunch so watch the video subscribe follow us on facebook instagram hulu twitter tinder wherever else we're on and give us a call thanks guys Guys, we just realized something else about the interior of this truck. The cameraman put his phone down. Even in 1990, they knew about the iPhone 11 XR Pro size, and they fit right into this phone holder. So even an added option we didn't know about until right now. Chevy really knew what they were doing. What happened, you think?